Elder Robert F. Neslin, addressed the conference. He rejoiced that the kingdom of God was organized for the permanent benefit of humanity at large. The principles of the gospel were efficacious in bringing happiness to mankind, but through the perverseness of the latter, those principles had not been so very extensively beneficial. The speaker quoted some pas passages of scriptures indicating the organization of the kingdom of God in the latter times. The knowledge received by the Latter-day Saints through obedience to the gospel of Christ had enabled them to overcome almost insurmountable difficulties, and the result of these things was that we beheld today in the valleys of Utah a God-fearing, industrious, and happy people, and we also saw bursting into bloom the realization of the hopes, aspirations, and prophecies of the ancient prophets and apostles. The speaker continued for some time showing that the gospel net gathered out of all kinds, brought together the opposite elements of humanity and made a homogeneous and united people. He stated that the principles embraced by the Latter-day Saints would eventually obtain all over the world, and through their agency would be brought about the reign of universal peace, which was so frequently alluded to in Holy Writ.